If you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Well, on this video, the last thing I want to do is argue with Albert Einstein. As you know, he's probably the preeminent genius in the history of mankind. But what we're going to talk about is how to increase your business's reach, response rates, and ready-to-buy referral numbers using push-button profit technology. While you're watching this video, it's pretty simple. You want to win in business. However, what the missing ingredient is in your success recipe is the advantage. You see, if you don't have an advantage, you're going to continue to get pushed around by your competitors, by the human interest groups that lobby in your industry, and ultimately the community that you serve. So if you're sick of barely hanging on, what I strongly recommend is you follow the lead of Michael Batista right here. Uh, Michael Batista was a Haibu client for over two years. Great guy, become a really good friend of mine. This is me, by the way, and how I met Michael was really simple. I have a local television show just outside of Boston, and I wanted to have Michael on because a mutual friend had introduced us. And after doing some due diligence and calling my business partner, Austin Pike, who's the director of strategy for TeamAAG.com, we started to look at some of the trends and some of the the facts and figures of Michael's business. And I said, Austin, there's, there's got to be a better way. This is kind of crazy. It, it doesn't seem right. And what happened was we started doing some due diligence and started coming across some testimonials and testimonies of people who were saying that, is Haibu a scam? My credit card's been getting hit when I really never authorized it. And really, I'm pretty pissed off at the whole process. I'm not a big fan. So I started digging a little deeper, and we started digging a little deeper, and went on their Facebook page and saw this person who just commented, and, and I responded, and actually paid a dollar to respond because it was going to go to their junk box and all the games Facebook plays and whatnot. But here was the response. Forget the numbers for a minute. Let's just look at the logic and the concept overview here. How in the world can somebody spend $5,200 in excess of what they wanted? At some point, Enough has to be enough. And ultimately, it's really time for a change. So what we wanted to do was get innovative. And we did what any innovative person would do this day and age. Bring in the help of a social media savvy seven-year-old. Yep, that's what we did. That's me, and that's my son, Zach. Zach's a pretty smart guy, pretty intuitive, and, and has a lot of ingenuity. and understood what we were trying to do. So what we did was we put some videos together. And in this particular video, it's actually on our YouTube channel or maybe even on the page that you're looking. Uh, it's called teamaag.com slash haibu hyphen review. Okay, and if you don't know where that is and if you're watching this video, right below this green dot right here on YouTube, there's what's called the hot link. And that's gonna bring you to that page. You can certainly get a lot more information. But what Zach and I did, is it really started to irritate some folks. Here's actually what turned out to be a comment from a Haibu employee. And there's a whole lot of them policing the internet, so they got to do some reputation, reputation management. Sounds like a disgruntled employee. Wow, I can't believe this took 25 minutes to talk about Haibu websites. Here's a website that I'm trying to get a cheap link to because what's happened in the matter of 45 days, the series of videos that we put out, just really overviewing Haibu. I have nothing personal against them. I just wanted to help out a client and ultimately save more people from falling into the abyss of the online ocean. You know, it's not that Haibu has illegal practices or they're not good at certain things. I'm here to say, first and foremost, they are good at certain things. However, if you are looking to ramp up results, trim time, and use your business as a unique force, you really need to appreciate education-based marketing like the person who commented here. So not all the comments are bad. Uh, again, this is just a sampling of some of the videos we put up, some of these are now private videos, so you can't see them in the search engines because we did get a little grief and backlash. Um, here's one that I love. Is your company a premier partner with Google? I didn't see your company on the list. Hmm, I wonder if I should trust Google or you. Well, what I wonder is what type of person would write that? <laughs> Anyways, here's another one. So these guys are loving what we're doing. Obviously, as Donald Trump would say, no bad press is, and no press is bad press. I guess we'll take that and, and march forward. What I do want to do is stand up for our right to fight at this party, as well as yours, as well as High Booze or anybody else in this game. This was a guy who personally emailed me and basically said, if your company's so great, 
how in the world can you go ahead and bash a competitor? Well, there's ads every day bashing competitors. And all the way back to the taste great, less filling days of Miller Lite, um, the local cable companies are always battling here in Boston. You hear they actually use, you know, don't fall for Fios's, you know, gimmicks and games. That, that's something that Xfinity, who's a competitor of theirs, uses. So this is by no means a, a knock on them. This is just putting the facts right up front because we are absolutely guilty of nothing and have nothing to hide. So here's my thing. Does, does their product pr deliver massive value for their clients? Well, based on the feedback we've got, most of the time it hasn't been the case. And if you scroll down this page or click through on the link that's below this video if you are on YouTube, what you're going to find is we, we didn't just make up these things. We, we really did look things through before we went ahead and, and took a massive giant step forward in putting this Haibu review campaign together. So are these people really disgruntled? Well, again, read the reviews. Are the searches on the web? Yep, go ahead and do that. And here's the key. If you're somebody who's looking to make even just your money back, is this an option that's going to make it happen? I personally don't think so. So at the end of the day, here's some other good feedback on, by the way, a video that is taking any search term for Haibu to the top. It's it's up on every single one of them, and it's got over 12, 1,300 views when I'm filming this video. Okay, it might be poor audio, but you know what? I appreciate your feedback and, for, and your interest in caring. So this particular video was our number one viewed video that I had to take down, and here's why. I, par I crossed some boundaries, I did some no-nos, and I got disciplined for it. So what YouTube did, based on the suggestion from, well, you may be able to guess who, some insiders at that other company, can't mention them, I guess, certainly having some fun, and I hope anybody watching this who is affiliated in any way, shape, or form with you-know-who can also have some fun. This is just putting facts right out there in the open. So I have been reprimanded and disciplined. So what's the catch-22 here? Well, the catch-22 is you want the best of the best. And if you truly do want that, you need to do three simple things to accomplish new age success. The first is you need to be able to build a list of raving fans and rabid buyer customers. And you need to do that through your website. Okay, your website is the number one tool for success in today's economy. It's the central hub and the heartbeat of your business. The reason why you want to build a list of people from your website is so you can then market to those people. Okay, the odds of them coming back to your website are really slim to none unless you have mechanisms in place. And on the form where you're watching this, or if again, if you're on YouTube, click through to the link on the le on the bottom on the top left corner of the description box and it's going to bring you to a page that you can fill out a form and learn more about how we can help you win the game of Google in any way shape or form and how to better influence consumer behavior so you can do what we're trying to do monetize the marketability of our ideas and our know-how and our expertise in our marketplace by the way we're not just a website development company we truly are an online marketing company so here's the thing your prospects are looking to be fed. So nourish them and you'll build trust and ultimately they'll eat your bait every time. That is the number one way to win at the game of Google. So there's a whole lot of ways to keep your funnel full. You see the best are referrals from clients, strategic alliance programs with other thriving businesses in your area or community, directory sites, just a few of them are Angie's List, Yelp, uh, City Search. There's a whole host of them. Okay, business groups. Some people are in BNI. That's great. And, and chambers of commerce and rotary clubs. Awesome stuff. I'm involved in most of those myself. Okay, offline advertising programs. YouTube. Well, I guess you know if that works or not because you're watching a YouTube video right now. Your website, your social media, people walking into your business, local press, organic searches in, in Google Places, seminars, autoresponders, pay per click. There's a whole host of ways to keep your funnel full, but what you really want is the referral of a lifetime. So here's what I suggest. This might be one of the greatest winners in history, arguably the best athlete to ever have walked the planet, but Michael Jordan really said it. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. So that's why what we suggest is to strive for progress, not for perfection. You see, what a perfectionist really is, is it's somebody that's letting an insecurity of theirs really take 
center stage on their essence and on their being and more importantly cripple their actions because the universe truly does reward speed so if you want to do what Rex did go ahead and fill out that form on this page what that's gonna do is it's gonna get you an overview video this was a 15 minute personalized video that we did for Rex so he saw the exact either ad or video or campaign that you did from there what we did is we helped Rex formulate tools for his internet marketing toolbox okay he went to our site he filled out the form he did a video and in fact if you fill out that form the first email you're gonna get is gonna have a link to a page that has some text up above but the call to action is this real simple we're gonna do a website review for you or we're gonna have a five-minute phone call it really is your call okay back here in Boston where we where I live and where our business is headquartered we have something called the Beantown Business Academy. Anybody know who's Boston? It's where Beantown, if you would, you know? And so, as an acclaimed online author and teacher and seminar and workshop provider and, and allocator for, administer, administrator for a whole host of businesses, we're talking hundreds and now into the thousands of people, what we wanted to do was put something in place, some infrastructure in place that really simplified it. And of course, great leaders start off as great followers. So one of my favorite games when I was a kid was, well, you guessed it, that game right there. So what we did is we put together a game board so we can help people just like you win the game of Google. Because in truth, it isn't always easy. However, it is simple. So here's the beginnings of what we now have on our website. Okay, this was day one, that kind of the business plan on a napkin. And what's happened from that? as we've been able to let results rule. If that's not the case, what else are you doing? Okay, so what we promise and guarantee is that if you are not 100% blown away by Team AAG's ability to increase your reach, response rates, and ready-to-buy referral numbers in 90 days, day 91 and beyond is free for our monthly marketing clients. So we are not about games. We're not about gimmicks. Really, we're not about nada. None of that. Okay, and this is a personal guarantee we have. And in closing, years ago, I was with my son at a friend's corner office in the high-rise buildings of Boston. Okay, and I said to him, Zach, what's happening here? He said, Dad, the sand is falling. So I say to you, it's 100% later than you think. So go ahead and take action today. Either click down in the link down below on the left if you're watching this on YouTube. But if you're on the page that this presents more about Haibu and what we call the Dirty Laundry Report, just go ahead and read, read up on, on what you should ultimately be doing. And that's due diligence at a higher level. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you an idea of, of how we can help be a second option so you can measure twice and ultimately cut once and go ahead and make the right decision for your business. Because ultimately, you're worth it. You deserve to work with somebody who can help you put your best foot forward. And whether or not we share in the futures of your success, I hope you go ahead and let us hear more about it. Thanks so much, and I value the time you spent with me today. Bye now.